The unique qualities that are found in ballparks are something that baseball fans have celebrated for decades. Whether it's a hill in the outfield, an upper deck that extends over the field of play, or a warehouse that connects to the left field corner, ballparks have a special place in the hearts of baseball fans. In Houston, the Astrodome escalated unique qualities to another level. Besides the steel dome built over the playing field, the Astrodome featured a scoreboard that entertained from 1965 to 1988. It was one that explained the dome's identity, and fans fell in love with it. Much like the other innovative features introduced by the Astrodome, its scoreboard was unlike anything previously seen. At the center of the display was the Astrolite, where everything from cartoons to commercials kept eyes from the stands locked in. Chester Charge became a signature of the Astrolite, enticing crowds to yell Charge during Astros games. The scoreboard featured two 141 by 21 foot message boards where you could find lineups, stats, game in progress information, out of town scores, and special messages. The central attraction of the Astrodome scoreboard was the Home Run Spectacular, a 45 second sound and light display unlike any other in the world at the time. It's a home run! The scoreboard consisted of over 50,000 light bulbs that flashed in controlled sequences to produce the images that celebrated home runs and touchdowns. In addition, there were over 40 million tiny holes along the face of the Astrodome scoreboard, which was designed for ventilation and also to provide acoustical assistance inside the stadium. The scoreboard was built at a cost of $2 million by the Houston Astros in 1965. Stretched across the eastern side of the Astrodome, this massive scoreboard was an unprecedented 474 feet wide and stood over four stories tall. It weighed 300 tons and featured over 1,200 miles of wiring. The scoreboard was designed and built by the Fair Play Scoreboard Company of Des Moines, Iowa, with assistance in the animation sequences from the Federal Sign and Signal Corporation of Dallas and Houston. This flamboyant, over-the-top, Texas-sized home run spectacular would become the most anticipated part of attending baseball or football games at the Astrodome. It was even used for other events in the Dome. The scoreboard was so popular that people came just to see it on a daily tour when the Astrodome was empty. The scoreboard was originally controlled by six technicians and a producer. The first maestro of the scoreboard was Astros publicity director Bill Giles, who later became the longtime chairman of the Philadelphia Phillies. Although the home run spectacular transcended time, the technology used for the Astrodome scoreboard did not, and it became outdated. Replacement talks came in the early 80s as the Astrodome was in the middle of several other modern upgrades. Replacement discussions went into high gear by 1987 when the Houston Oilers threatened to leave the city if they couldn't get more seats in the Astrodome, which was considered to have one of the nation's smaller seating capacities for football by the late 80s. Although the Astros controlled the master lease of the Astrodome, it was Harris County who owned the stadium and granted the Oilers' wish. A plan to add 10,000 new seats in the area of the existing scoreboard was put into place. The 1988 baseball season was the last one with the original Astrodome scoreboard. On September 5, 1988, the Astros held a going away scoreboard celebration that featured using portions of the home run spectacular not only for home runs, but also for good plays made on the field. The next night, on September 6, was the last game played with the famous scoreboard. Power hitting first baseman Glenn Davis, known as the Big Bopper, appropriately became the last Astros player to set off the home run spectacular with a solo homer in the ninth inning. Davis really cranks one. Left 
field. Daniels will jump, and that's gone. Glenn Davis hits a home run. That's number 27 of the year, and the Astros have broken the shutout bid of Tom Browning, trailing 10 to 1. That's the last time, unless we get another Astros home run, that this scoreboard will go off. Well, Bill, Glenn Davis was quoted in an article this morning as saying he realized the importance of that scoreboard and the home run celebration when somebody brought a kid to the game and introduced him and said, please set off the scoreboard for my daughter. He did it one more time. As the crowd filed out after the game, Astrodome PA announcer J. Fred Duckett announced to fans that the scoreboard home run spectacular was going to be lighted up one final time. Soon after, the scoreboard was dismantled, and there was talk about reinstalling the entire display somewhere else in Houston for people to continue to see it for years to come. However, the logistics of this project were too overbearing, and a third-party company purchased the scoreboard from Harris County and sold many of the light bulbs as souvenirs to fans. Without the scoreboard, the Astrodome lost its voice. Gone was the personality that entertained millions of fans who sat at the stadium's multicolored theater seats. 10,000 seats were completed by the fall of 1989. A new scoreboard system was installed, but at a smaller scale than what was seen before. There was talk of a new high-tech scoreboard system that could be built along the top rim of the Astrodome, complete with a state-of-the-art laser light home run spectacular. But the funds for such a display were depleted when additional asbestos abatement had to take place during the renovation for the new seating. The Oilers moved out of the Astrodome to Nashville after the 1996 season, just seven years after the seating expansion. The team claimed they still needed a larger seating capacity and they wanted more revenue from concessions and parking. The Astros moved out after the 1999 season, but brought back digital sequences of the original home run spectacular on the new scoreboard at Enron Field in the heart of downtown Houston. The display used the original soundtrack of the home run spectacular from 1965, and fans could once again see and hear six shooter cowboys and flame blowing Texas sized steers after each Astros home run. For Astro Talk, I'm Mike Acosta. Thanks for watching.